At this point, Kylie Jenner is just selling the same coloured makeup but in new packaging. So wasteful. It appears the same things are recycled every holiday season. We need to have a serious discussion about Kylie Jenner not only repeating and recycling old makeup and selling it for a profit, but also copying other artists. It's a lazy way to make another couple mil. You'd think that maybe after the Travis Scott concert tragedy, Kylie would be laying low. But no, she's got a billion dollar M empire to upkeep. She ditched the Christmas holiday season launch last year to avoid any backlash and to avoid being seen as insensitive after Travis's concert tragedy. But she's back on the business scene after a brief break. Kylie is probably out here thinking, live, laugh, learn. She's back to business and no one's going to stop her. Now, Kylie's products have long been hyped since she first launched her business, Kylie Cosmetics, back in the day. Since then, all of her companies have seen major profit. But also, we can't forget get the major scandals. Last year, Kylie launched a swimwear line that did not receive well. Her brand was trashed for being completely see-through and overpriced. Kylie has been accused of selling poor quality swimsuits after fans claimed the garments had bad stitching and were stringy and flimsy. With no pants, no undies, fully how I would do it at the beach. And my hoo hoo lulu does not fit in these. It hangs out. You can see everything. These suits are so sheer that you can literally read the care instructions through them. So clearly TikTok wouldn't let me try these on without anything underneath. So we're gonna wear this body suit and try on some suits. First of all, there's just no coverage at all down here. Right now, my right boob would literally be hanging out if I didn't have this black fan underneath. Also camel toe, hello. Let's not even talk about how much you need to wax just to get into this thing. And then the back, literally everything is out. Absolutely no support whatsoever. Fanny flaps were hanging out all over the beach. People were scraping their labias on the sand. It was not a good time. After that catastrophe, Kylie Swim began posting less and less. Fans are still out here asking if there will be another restock, but it's not looking likely. Kylie Swim is now a kind of forgotten brand. It was overshadowed by the next major scandal that followed. Travis Scott's Astro World Festival tragedy, where 10 people lost their lives in a massive crowd surge. Travis at the time took to social media and had a little cry cry before leaving social media for good. To the ones that was lost last night, we're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans, like, my fans really mean the world to me, and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And anytime I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I stop the show and you know, help them get the help they need, you know? Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. Um, we've been working closely, uh, we've been working closely with everyone to just try to get to the bottom of this, the city of Houston, HPD, fire department, you know, everyone to, uh, you know, help us, help us figure this out. So if you, if you have any information, um, you know, please just contact your local authorities. Um, everybody continue to just keep your prayers. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just devastated. I could never imagine anything like this just happening. I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you guys updated. And just keep you guys informed on what's going on. I love you all. Kylie also faced backlash for filming the catastrophe whilst she attended the concert and tried to make it look all aesthetic at the time instead of doing something to help. This backlash is now transferred to her brand's social media accounts where people are ripping into her still to this day. Everyone's been kind of wondering when exactly she'd release another makeup collection, how long she'd wait until everything died down, and it appears she only waited a couple of months. People lost their lives, and she really has the audacity to not help out the families. Instead, she's out here releasing yet another makeup collection, and it gets worse. She's recycling old makeup and copying from other creators. Kylie's recent Valentine's Day collection is already a fail for a number of reasons, and it hasn't even launched yet. 
Kylie's plan to embrace a romantic theme is an absolute oxymoron. What does she know about romance? She's out here glamorising being treated like shit by her baby daddy, who's just humiliated her so much over the past few years, it's embarrassing. Anyway, love through the lens of Kylie is plastic, as we all know, and it's ironic that her Valentine's collection is already a flop. Fans started voicing their opinions after seeing the promotional material. Is it really necessary to release new makeup collections every year for every holiday? At this point, you're selling same colours and new packaging. At this point, you're selling the same colours and new packaging. So wasteful. This is a subtweet to Kylie Cosmetics. I see the same thing recycled every holiday. Does anyone even buy Kylie Cosmetics anymore? She keeps dropping these palettes. I'm starting to think she's recycling. Kylie, why does your new collection look like the same recycled colours? The Kardashians are notoriously known for being unoriginal, so it's no surprise that someone has already spoken out about Kylie copying their exact makeup line. RuPaul's Drag Races Trixie Mattel called out Kylie Jenner recently on TikTok for copying her brand's lipstick packaging. Trixie had called out Kylie Jenner after noticing that her new lip gloss packaging is nearly identical to her own. Mattel launched Trixie Cosmetics back in 2019 and she has become known for her heart-shaped lip gloss containers. She had captioned the exposing TikTok video, Kylie, I'm calling the police, and her followers quickly came to her defence, with many people tagging Trixie's brand, hashtag Glossgate. And it's no shock that the comments section on Kylie's recent Valentine's collection are absolutely ripping Kylie to shreds. I highly doubt that this collection will sell out this year, especially considering the circumstances. It's the same colour every time. Same shit, different day, lol. I was like, I see this lipsticks over and over and over, just different shapes. Kylie has even received backlash for her baby body wash and lotion brand, and it's no surprise that Jaclyn Hairy Bumpy Lumpy Lipstick stuck up for Kylie Trashy Cosmetics Jenner last year. I see Kylie Jenner getting so much hate for her new baby line and I'm confused. It looks amazing and seems like she worked really hard to develop good clean products for kids. What's the problem? Jaclyn was quickly put in her place when people came for her. Someone said, I sincerely feel like she uses her status slash name to make a massive profit on really just mediocre products. Her skincare was awful, IMO. Her swim line is so poorly made and cheap. I don't know, that's just me. Feels like such a cash grab. And she knows people will buy it because she's Kylie Jenner. Someone also asked, did she come out with the ingredient list yet? To which Jacqueline confidently responded, no, but that's pretty common. Typically ingredients are listed on website and packaging. Okay, Jacqueline, why don't you go focus on your infectious lip line? So anyway, what are your guys' thoughts on Kylie's new Valentine's collection? Do you think she copied Trixie Mattel? Let me know in the comments.